In this video, I'm gonna show you how to paint a garage using an airless sprayer. And if you're new to this channel, my name's Josh. The channel's all about building your own house, saving tons of money. So be sure to subscribe, ring that bell so you get a notification every time I release a new video, and hammer that like button for me. That's all I ask for in terms of making this video. So the most important part about spraying a garage is the prep work. So let's get started. This is a new construction job. So I have all the receptacles off because they have not been installed yet. So the first thing I do is take sandwich baggies and cover up the wires and then take blue painter's tape and tape over the holes that secures the outlet to the outlet box. And if you don't have a new construction garage and you have outlets here, be sure to take off the covers and then just take tape and tape over the outlet so that way you don't get paint inside the outlet. All right, so the first thing we need to do after that is go through and tape up the garage doors. In order to tape up the garage doors, I like to use this 3M masker. This is the M3000, and I got the six foot film on it. So that way I can just go through and stretch it out and tape up right along the top of the garage door like so. This garage door is actually eight foot tall, but I only had the six foot film, which is fine because I just needed enough to cover up the door and protect it from the overspray. And really long story short, when it comes to masking is you simply just gotta cover up everything you don't want overspray to get on. So I'm gonna put a film over this door as well. Before I cover up the floor, I'm gonna go ahead and cut around things that I can't get to with the sprayer or mask around because they're so rigid. So I'm gonna show you the paint I'm gonna be using. I'm gonna be using this Valspar Ultra and this is ultra white and it's an satin interior paint. And the reason why I like to use satin in the garage is because it's more scrubbable than a flat paint. So that's my personal preference. And I also spray the ceilings and the walls the same color. So it's gonna be this paint on the ceilings and walls. Unlike if you've been following my channel, you know I paint ceilings with ultra flat paint. So if you wanna see how I do that, check the card in the top right hand corner of the screen. Before using the paint, be sure to shake it really well or take a stir stick and stir it up really well. Either one's fine, just make sure it's done very well. I recommend at least five minutes. All right, so what I'm gonna do is use this handy paint pail because I gotta do a little cutting around first. I'm gonna pop this lid off here. Now what we're gonna do is pour the paint into our paint pail here. All right, now that we got our cut brush and our paint, I gotta show you what we gotta do before we start spraying. Just so you're aware, the walls and ceilings are already primed, but if you take a look at these brackets that are holding the garage door tracks, they're all very hard to mask around because they're kind of irregular. So if we take a look down through here, we're gonna paint around these instead of masking them, and then we're gonna spray next to them. And also areas like this, we're gonna try to go ahead and paint around these as well because I don't like the looks of having our brackets all painted. So I'm gonna cut around these as well with the brush. So this part isn't very complicated. You literally just cut up next to things that you can't get your sprayer next to. And again, I do this. I know it might be a little unconventional to some people, but I just found this to be the simpler way of doing it without making a mess all over the brackets. So just my preference. Doesn't take too long to do this either. Also, if you're interested in purchasing any of these items you see in this video, check out my Amazon store. The link is in the description below. If you do make a purchase through it, I get a small commission, but it's at no extra cost to you, and I appreciate it because it helps support the channel. All right, I'm gonna go through and cut around all these things, and then we'll get to spraying. So similar to cutting around those brackets, I need to cut around this bar going across the garage door as well. So what I do, I just take my brush and I actually just hand paint everything right up to above that bar so that way I can get my sprayer in there without spraying all over this bar. And again, the reason why I do all this is because it's hard to cover all this up and spray around it. So just my preference. So I'm just gonna go through and just brush like so, clear to about right here. And then I'll do that straight across the whole garage door opening. I'm gonna start by spraying the ceilings. And before I do that, I need to protect this concrete floor because unlike the wooden subfloor in the rest of the house, this garage floor is not gonna be covered up with hardwood floor or tile. It's gonna remain concrete for a long time. So in order to protect it, I just gotta roll this paper out across it. You can also use a tarp or plastic. That's totally up to you. I already primed these walls before, like I already mentioned. So I have a layer of it going across the parameter because I needed something to spray up against. 
So that's just something you need to do before you spray. So the, now that the parameter's already done, I just gotta roll these extra pieces right up in to fill in the middle of the floor. So let's do that. Okay, I got my airless sprayer primed and ready to go. What I'm gonna be using is this Graco Magnum Pro X17. It's an airless sprayer. And I got the paint sitting underneath of it, so it's gonna siphon right out of the bucket into the pump. And it's also a good idea to strain your paint sometimes if you have older paint. This is a new bucket, so I'm gonna try to get away with not straining it, but should be fine. And usually I don't have to strain it, but they always recommend you do so. And this is the extension I got on, is a 40 inch plus the 20 inch spray tip. And I'm using this 515 spray tip on the end here. So that's what I've been using for just about everything. It works pretty well. Also, I have the pressure set just about a quarter inch from max for the viscosity of this paint. It's been working well. So enough with talking, let's get to spraying. Before you start spraying, you should always wear a respirator and eye protection. So this is what I've been using and it works well. So we're gonna start on the ceilings first. So what we need to do is think about the lighting coming into the garage. So the garage doors are right in front of this camera. So the light's shining right at me, okay? So what I need to do is make sure I roll towards the light. So that way there's no roller marks that show. So I'm gonna go ahead and spray a layer on the ceiling above me, then I'll show you how to roll it. When using the airless sprayer, be sure to stay about 12 inches away from the wall or ceiling and overlap half of what you just sprayed. Now that I got a layer sprayed on the ceiling, I'm going to take an 18 inch roller. This is an 18 inch roller made by Purdy with a 3 8 nap. And now I'm going to go through and back roll what I just sprayed. If you're going to be purchasing an extension pole, be sure to get a sturdy one. I've used cheaper, flimsier ones in the past and they're not worth the money you pay for them. The reason why we back roll is that paint doesn't go on evenly if you're not used to spraying a lot. So back rolling evens out that paint and also it gives the paint texture. So if you got to touch up later with a roller, you can easily without having to break out the sprayer. All right, so let's do this whole ceiling just like that. Now I'm up to the brackets up here in the ceiling. So if you remember correctly, I cut around these. So now I'm gonna show you how I spray up to them and then roll up to them. Let's do this. So as you see, I didn't spray right up against them to where I get a mess all over them. Now what I'm gonna do is simply just take my roller and roll right up to where I cut in earlier. So go ahead and take your time around these and it's going to save you a lot of cutting in at a later date so this is definitely the easiest way i've found to do this yet do it quick Now it's time to spray along the top of this garage door where we painted up to earlier. So let's do that. So more or less the sprayer gets the paint on the wall, then you just back roll it with your roller up to where you cut in earlier. All right, let's go paint a whole wall now. Now it's time to spray the walls. The walls are very simple. You can do it just like the ceiling other than you're working on a wall now. So you just spray up to the ceiling, down to the floor, up to your paper, and just keep that motion, then back roll it. I 
I now got one coat on the ceilings and walls. Now I'm gonna go back through and do a second coat after that first coat totally dries. Two coats are done. Now it's time to take off the plastic and we're gonna to get to see what our final product's gonna look like. After two coats of satin ultra white Valspar paint, this is our final product and it looks really nice. Now that the garage is totally done painted, I need to clean up the paint sprayer and I also need to wash my face off because I got specks of paint on it from rolling overhead. All right guys, again, if you're not familiar with this channel, my name's Josh, the channel's all about building your own house, saving a ton of money. Be sure to subscribe and ring that bell. And I build houses from the foundation up here pretty much by myself, so you definitely don't want to miss a video. Okay, I got a lot more I got to get done, so I'll see you in the next video. Have a good one.